Hello, this is my YouTube homework set one. Question A, part one. The distance of the displacement of the blocks is to the left. The distance of the force by the hand also to the left. And because the vote equal to the force time displacement cosine data, I use cosine, uh, I use data equal to zero because the distance and the force are horizontal. And cosine n zero equal to one. And the block is speeding up because the net force and the velocity are to the left. Question two. This time the block is moving to the left, but the work, the work done by the hand is negative. So the distance of uh, the displacement of the block is to the left, but the distance of the force by the hand is to the right. Because I want to make the distance of the force by the hand become the opposite side, so I made the uh, data become 180. So cosine 118 degree equal to negative 1. And this and this time the box is slow down because the velocity is to the left but the network is to the right so the block is slowing down. Next question part B. Uh, for the first diagram, the block moving to the right and speeding up. Uh, I have the net force table on the block and gravitational force the error on the block. And to the uh, left, I have the force hand tool on the block and the, and the opposite side is the force hand one on the block. But the hand one is longer because is moving to the right. The second one, the block moving to the left and speeding up. I have the net force table on the uh, block and the gravitational force down earth on the block. Also, I have the uh, force hand on the block is longer than the opposite side, the force on the handle on the block. The block moves to the right and slowing down. And I have the uh, normal force table on the block and the gravitational force are on the block. And the force hand tool on the block is longer than the force hand one on the block because this time is to the right and right and slowing down. The block moves to the left with constant speed. So this time the normal force table on the block and the gravitational force is equal. Also the hand one on the block and the hand two on the blocks are equal to. Part C, first question. Because this time there is an in, uh, there is an angle below the horizontal. Therefore, the work done on the new force is less than the work done by the original force. And here is my expression in this part. The work equal to the force uh, block acting on the hand times the distance s times the cosine data is smaller than the force uh, the block acting on the hand times the distance s. This one is this part. And also because the data is uh, cosine data is more than one, therefore is less than the original force.
Question two. This time, a hand pulls with a force of the same magnitude, but it does a zero zero work. So, the uh distance of the displacement of the block is going to the left. But the distance of the force on the block by the hand is up or down because it do a zero work. So if the hand is pushed up or pushed down, it will cancel the force. Part D, the gravitational force A on the block and the normal force table on the block equal to zero work because they perpendicular to the uh, displacement as the force block uh, action on the hem one is the positive work because it's along to the uh, displacement as and the force uh, block acting on the hand two is negative work because it's opposite to the uh, displacement S. This question I will use. I just finished the table to answer. And first one, the block moving to the right and speeding up, so the work net is bigger than zero. Second, the block moves to the left and speeds up. So the work net is bigger than zero. Uh, number three, the block is moving to the right and slowing down. So the uh, work net is small than zero. Number four, the block moving to the left with constant speed. So the work net is equal to n zero. Just like I, uh, what I draw here. This question. The work net is equal to the sum of the work uh, net for. So the work net is equal to the uh, force uh, block acting on, acting on the hand one times the displacement minus the hand, uh, the force block acting on the a uh, hand tool uh, times the displacement so they that this one equal to the f net times the displacement to answer this question i also use this form the block moving to the right and speeding up and this one to the right and speeding up they are the level of both of them are bigger than zero and the velocity is increased. The block moving to the right and slowing down. So the work net is small than zero and the velocity is decreased. The last one is the block moving to the left with constant speed. So the work net is equal to zero and velocity also constant speed. Last question. The kinetic energy is equal to the uh, 1 over 2 mass time velocity per second. So the kinetic energy changes the same way as the speed. Second part. Uh, A. First question. The work net equal to the force times the displacement. Therefore, the work net times 2 displacement is equal to 2 times the work net times the displacement. The delta kinetic energy is equal to the kinetic energy final minus the kinetic energy initial equal to the work net. Therefore, uh, by the formula, I get the uh, the velocity second divided by the velocity first is equal to the square root of 2. Next question. 
the kinetic friction A equal to the kinetic friction B. Also, the volt net A equal to the volt net B. Therefore, the delta kinetic energy is equal to the kinetic energy final. Part B, first question. The work done on the ground 1 by the hand is equal to the work done on the ground 2 by the hand because the force, uh, the ground acting on the hand and the displacement doesn't change on each block. Next question. The delta kinetic 1 is equal to the work net on the ground 1. The delta kinetic uh, energy 2 equal to the work net on the ground 2. But the net force on the ground 2 is smaller than the net force on the ground 1. So the delta kinetic energy 2 is smaller than the delta kinetic energy 1. Part C, first question. The block pushes the pawn arrow, so the spring is compressed. My answer is not depend on the direction in the block is moving, because the state, the state of the spring is depend on only the block's position. Part two, the direction of the velocity at point R is going to the left and the direction of the net force at the point R also to the left. The direction of the acceleration at point R also to the left. So my free body diagram is the normal force up, the block acting on the table, the gravitational force down, the block acting on the earth and the force to the left, the block acting on the spring. And my work net is equal to the sum of the force, the block acting on the spring. The force, the, the net force, I'm sorry, the force of the block acting on the spring and the direction uh, have the same distance to the left. So the net force is bigger than zero. Last question. The direction of the velocity at point arrow is going to the left, but the direction of the net force at point arrow is going to the right. Also, the acceleration at the point arrow also going to the right. My, my free body diagram will be the net force, uh, the normal force block acting on the table is going up the gravitational force block on the earth, this is the earth, going down the force block on the, uh, acting on the spring is going to the right. The net work done on the block is negative because the force block on Acting on the spring is to the right, but the displacement is to the left. Uh, the delta kinetic energy equal to the uh, volt net is small than zero, so the spring, the speed on the block is decreased. That's all my answer. Thank you for listening.